Hello again and how much fun was it creating your very first program and I'm sure you are now very excited to start with another more intricate program so what I think what we could do is we could have scratch the cat um, tell a little joke to a friend good now you already know what the scratch window looks like oh you know this stage this backdrop it's very boring to have a white background so let's have a look here we click on the stage preview here and we can change it now on the bottom there we have different options now if you hover your pointer over an icon you will see what will happen so this one at the right says new backdrop from camera and yes you can go and take a photograph but it must of course be the uh, camera the, that is installed so if you have a, a webcam you can take a picture or if you are working on a tablet of course they have inbuilt cameras or built-in cameras right um, so I don't think this will often be an option but of course if you have uh, other photographs you can always use this one upload the backdrop from a file so you have pictures you've saved them to a file perhaps you've downloaded something from the internet you can use that um, the next one says paint a new backdrop oh yes certainly we can try that later on but the one that I am going to use today is this one choose a backdrop from the library so we click on that and oh can you see all these backgrounds appearing so um, this little joke that Scratch is going to tell his friend has to do with homework so perhaps we can choose oh, of course you can tell a joke any place but I'm going to think of where I will tell a joke um, these two you see the these brick walls it looks like a school building there's another one um, there's a chalkboard let's go down um, oh beautiful what about this one there's a table and a chair it looks like a place where someone might be doing homework so we double click and there it appears that looks better than a white background okay but now if you see scratch is hanging in the air we don't want him there so we are going to drag him down here and now to whom is he going to tell the joke he needs a little friend so we need a new sprite and there we have new sprites are oh, very much the same as with the stage the camera the sorry I was interrupted so um, let's just start again okay so we can get a new sprite from a camera in built-in camera of course from a file if you if you want to do that of course you can do that uh, get a picture of yourself and a friend uh, perhaps you'll have a little bit of difficulty with the sizes um, so um, if you want to experiment of course then you can paint a new one and but we are going to use that same cheat method and we choose a sprite from the library so let's have a look there we have a whole lot of sprites and let's see 
To whom can he tell the joke? Oh, there's a dog. Let's try this dog. Double click on the dog and the dog is hanging in the air. So, bring the dog down there. Right. So now we have our two sprites, but something is wrong in this picture. Don't you think that dog is a little rude? Looking away from scratch, so we need to change that. Right, so can you see, having uh, dragged the, the dog, that is now the active sprite. If we go back there, then everything you do with the sprite will be done to scratch. But we want to change the dog. Click on Costumes tab there and there you will see the dog appearing. Now, if you click there on the dog, then you will see these buttons appearing. And I think you know the setup from other programs from Word as soon as you have a, a graphic and you click on it then you get these they are called handles and you can resize um, you can turn it around with this one or you can resize it Okay, but what we want to do, let's make the dog a little, uh, come on, a little smaller because he seems a bit big for, for the room. We don't want our second sprite to be larger than the cat. I think he will perhaps bite the cat. Okay, so we want this dog to look that way. So you grab hold of either the left handle or the right one. And just drag it across and there the dog is but what happened here yeah. right I want to show you something let me just enlarge this can you see there's a little cross and there we have a little circle that is the center of our sprite and that is so what we are trying to do is we are trying to get that little circle more or less over that cross so just drag it there um, a little bit up okay right so we can minimize again right so now the dog is actually facing let me just turn. Oh, that looks better. And we can drag the dog around. Okay, so now it seems that they will be able to talk to each other. Right, so I think I'm going to stop here because I think you now have a lot of work to do. So you are going to get a new backdrop. You are going to move your characters, your sprites around so that they look right. And of course, you don't need to use the ones that I used. Um, choose your own ones or use the same ones. It doesn't matter. And then I think just to be on the safe side, let's just quickly save this one and we will call it joke and I am going to put it in my scratch projects and hello world is of course already there and now I have my little joke and I save it so if you close it you need to do something else you can always just pick up where you left so you are going to change the stage you're going to get your two sprites you are going to place them so that they can talk to each other and then come back for the next video. Right, see you. Bye.